Now, what may have not been so typical earlier this morning, the water spot that was visible over Lake Erie. Let's bring in meteorologist John Birchfield and John. This is kind of the time of the year that we start to see some unusual things happen closer to Lake Erie. Explain what was going on here and the beautiful images that were captured. Yeah, Chris, you started off your weather cast with those crystal clear skies, blue skies through the Marblehead Lighthouse camera, but quite a different appearance just about eight to 10 hours ago where some folks near Marblehead and the Lake Erie Islands did witness a water spout. Now these are more common than you might think, especially in late summer and early autumn, and they rarely ever cause significant damage, let alone make landfall. But GG captured this one and there is some of that spray kicking up due to the strong wind speeds associated with the water spout. Another photo, you can see some of those Cedar Point roller coasters in the foreground, and there is that cloud to water connection of the water spout. Another great photo. You can send those into the WTOL 11 Weather Center and on social media. So how exactly do water spouts form? Well, this time of year, the Lake Erie water temperature is close to 80 degrees, and that provides a lot of rising air in the atmosphere. When you get a strong cold front this time of year, it can cause a bit of rotation or circulation in the atmosphere, and that is just enough couple with that updraft to cause a water spout that forms in a somewhat similar fashion, but still not quite the same as a tornado that may occur on land because these rarely cause damage or make landfall. And if they do, they are very, very short lived. That warm Western Basin water temperature providing the slate that causes water spouts in late summer and early fall, and they are very different from the funnel or the tornado that you may see over land. Water spouts typically have a narrow rope appearance, and even though they do have strong winds and kick up some spray. They don't move around nearly as much and they're not formed during what we call supercell thunderstorms, whereas a tornado over land that is caused by some rapid strong rotation in the atmosphere. And these are much more significant and impactful, whereas water spouts typically more bark than bite, although they certainly do look ominous and August and September is peak water spout season. So it's inevitable that we're likely to see more across Northwest Ohio later on this season. Jeff.